science rules. Hello, I'm Connie Potter here at CERN in Restaurant One. And today I have with me Lars Ulrich and Kirk Hammett from the band Metallica. They've been with us for most of the afternoon on a visit around CERN. And I have a couple of questions for them. First of all, going back to your childhood, did you study science at school? I, I was an avid science uh, uh, um, student. I would, I would think I, I, I at one point wanted to be an astronaut when I was uh, going to elementary school. And you know, I was into model rocketry. I built rockets. I always maintained my uh, uh, fascination with science and all all sorts of science, all you know, all sorts of different types of science, you know, from basic physics all the way to quantum physics, you know. I, I grew up with um, I grew up with a father who has been um, very interested in physics, very interested in philosophy, very interested in universe and particles and everything. And so um, most of my schooling came um, not only from the Danish public school system, which is a wonderful place, but uh, came from uh, hanging out with my dad and staring up into space and the night sky and uh, talking and, and listening and um, just sort of being around, um, like I said, my, my father who was very uh, interested in everything about the universe and about history and you know, big bangs and black holes and all this stuff. So I spent a lot of my youth listening. Uh, it's just it's just amazing you know, just to, just to see the real cutting edge of, of science right now I mean and to just like stand in front of it and like look at all the different aspects of all these different experiments I mean it's very very humbling you know to know that there's something like this that exists in our in our world at this time it's 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 amazing it's incredibly humbling as well it's amazing to see the passion the knowledge uh, the inquisitive minds here and, and how everybody, you know, this is their particular niche in the same way that our thing is music and, you know, all of us as humans, you know, we've ended up or chosen music for our particular niche, but all the rest of the scientists and the physicists and everybody who's here have this particular thing that they've ended up in and that's their life. And that to me is, is just fascinating and, and I'm taking it all in. So if you hadn't gone into music, do you think either of you might have gone into some form of science? Well, like I said earlier, you know, I, I really wanted to become an astronaut. Watching the moonwalk on national television in 1969, you know, really made a big, yeah. big impression yeah. on me, and I will never forget that. If uh, if things were different, you know, and I had a different sort of, of uh, uh, ability, you know, I would have liked to have become an astronaut, really, or at least an aerospace engineer or something, because I, I love all that, all, all that whole branch of, of the science. It's just really, really amazing to me. If for some reason I decide to not do music full time or turn professional, then uh, I'll come and knock on the door here and go, "Hey, Connie, I'm back. I'm back for seconds. Let me in." I have, does my pass still work? Do you need somebody to crawl inside the cloud tank? Or do you need somebody, I could maybe be the first guy that could be shot around the uh, accelerator or whatever. So I can do like the human cannonball or whatever. So I'm, I'm up for anything. So uh, if you see me wandering around aimlessly on the campus, uh, that's me. Well, both of you will be welcome back. Don't forget science, it's important to know.